Here now with Candace Paramore, the reigning Southland Conference Player of the Week. Uh, CP, uh, what, what, what was going through your mind? What did you feel when you uh, saw that on Twitter, heard that, uh, that you had won that uh, Southland Conference Award? Um, I actually was in the kitchen with my teammates and we were just eating and then one of them ran and was like, oh my God, you got player of the week. And I was like, what? <laughs> and it just kind of threw me off. And I went and I looked and I grew message and I was like, oh my God. And then I went on Twitter and I seen everybody, you know, commenting and I was just like, I was just blessed, like and excited because I never received anything like that. And I just seen my teammates having and just kind of motivated me to like, you know, try to get me one, but I couldn't have done it without them really, honestly. Like, they're just so motivating, encouraging all the time. Like, even when I'm down, they just keep me up all the time. So, it was exciting to see. Yeah, like I said, you were the third player this year to, to win the award. So, very exciting times. J. Todd got hers, mm -hmm. Giselle last week. So, yep. uh, a lot of dynamic players on this team. is very exciting. Talk to me about the, the game Saturday. Um, specifically, that second half that you have, like I said, 23 points in the second half. You had 10 in the overtime itself. What was the difference between that first half and that second half that allowed you to kind of maybe settle in, or, or what was the case? Well, the game kind of started off a little crazy, <laughs> and I was in the foul trouble. But um, I think when we came out of halftime and I got to start the third quarter and I kind of got a few buckets in and I kind of, you know, did settle down in the game and then I picked up another foul and I had to sit out for a little bit. And then Coach A kind of looked at me and was like, I want you to keep that, that fight and I keep that dog in you when you go into the fourth quarter. And then I just ran with it at that point and I just kept that dog in me. Uh, it, you scored the first six points of overtime all from the free throw line. Uh, and then it was your couple fast break back buckets in the final minute that kind of sealed the deal. Um, from your perspective, I mean, uh, those, those shots, certainly the, those free throws were big. You're a really good free throw shooter. Were there any kind of nerves at that point? You know, overtime, uh, you're at the line, you know, the first three times and then getting those late buckets as well? Um, not really nerves, I would say, because like, my teammates were just in my ear the whole time, like, you know, these are easy, you know, you got these, you know, you knock these down and practice all the time. So, like, that helped me to not have the nerves. And then kind of some people in the fans were kind of, like, encouraging me as well. So, I really wasn't that nervous. Yeah. So, what did, so, like you said, a crazy game, a lot of adversity, uh, a lot of fight mm -hmm. challenges throughout the entire day. What do you think that you learned, maybe the team learned about itself after that game that you can carry forward into this week and, and the rest of the season? I think we just learned like how much character we have like as a team and like how much like togetherness we have and how we could have easily just folded and we didn't and we fought and we fought even against the refs and the team. And I just think it shows our character and how much we have as a team. Moving into this week, or we go to ULM on Wednesday, then back at home against uh, Tarleton on Saturday. How do, you, how do you keep building off of these past two games? Like I said, two road wins at Arkansas, at, at Mississippi Valley. How do you keep building on what you want to accomplish uh, this week? Well, we, one, we're going to go watch film, see our mistakes. So we did have a lot of mistakes in the game. But on top of that, like, we're just moving forward in practice, keep working hard, keep pushing each other, and be ready for our next opponent and read the scout and be ready to go. How exciting will it be on Saturday to finally get to play back in, in Prather Coliseum after a month on the road? Hey, it's been a month. It's about, just wow. about, yeah. Um, it's going to be pretty exciting. Like, you know, everybody loves playing on their home court because that's where you practice at. You got the feel for it, but I'm excited. It should be fun. You know, like I said, Saturday will be the last game before Christmas. Mm -hmm. So what is your favorite Christmas movie? Hmm. Okay, so I got two. It's either out of The Grinch or The Holiday. Either like, one. when you say The Grinch, you mean like The Cartoon Grinch? No, or not the, the Cartoon Grinch. Or the Jim Carrey yeah. newer one? Yeah. Okay, all right. That'll work. I'm a big fan of The Grinch as well. CP, thanks so much, and uh, good luck this week. Thank you. Welcome.